this video, we will explore the new Web of Science interface and various functionalities that will support your research. To access the Web of Science database, go to the library webpage at www.lib.uct.ac.za. Hover your mouse over Search and Find and click on Databases. Choose W from the A to Z list and then click on the Web of Science link. Web of Science contains many searchable databases. Choose which one you would like to search using the down arrow. If you would like to search all databases, choose all databases. We will choose Web of Science Core Collection. Before beginning your search, set your search preferences at the bottom of the page. Select years of your search under time span, and then click on the arrow to expand more options. The Web of Science core collection that UCT Library subscribes to includes journal literature from Science Citation Index Expanded, the Social Sciences Citation Index, and the Arts and Humanities Citation Index. By default, all collections are searched unless you choose to deselect any. From the basic search down arrow, you can choose Author Search, Cited Reference Search, or the Advanced Search option. From the drop-down menu, you can search in different fields. If you would like to combine different fields, add another field box. Clear all fields by clicking the Clear all fields box. Once you have entered your search terms, click the search button. Refine your search if needed by using any of the filters on the left. This is useful if you get too many results and wish to limit your search to certain categories, document types, research areas, authors, countries, and so on. For example, refine your results to include open access journals and click refine. More advanced options are available if you click on the Analyze Results button. Here you can analyze results by various ranking options. For example, analyze results by research areas. Click on Analyze. The results show that most of the articles from the search are in the research area of meteorology, atmospheric, sciences. To view the articles, tick the box and click View Records. Now we will go back to the search results. To sort your results, click on the down arrow next to Sort By. To see how many times each article has been cited, click on the Time Cited Highest to Lowest option. Click on the SFX button to see the availability of the article from UCT Libraries. Click on the article title to see more. The article citation network can be viewed on the right. Cited references shows the article's bibliography. Related records show other articles that share references with this one. You can create a citation alert to this record. When someone cites this article, you will be notified. All time cited shows how many times the record was cited in another database within Web of Science. Click on View Journal Information to see more information about the journal. You can save the article to a reference manager or add the record to your marked list. Click on Mark List at the top to view the list. Scroll down to view more information, for example, clickable keywords where you can find other articles in the Web of Science Core Collection that also contain these keywords as well as other author affiliations. At the top of the page, you can click out to Google Scholar. In Google Scholar, you can see the time cited for this article, and there is also a reciprocal link back to Web of Science. Use My Tools to link to EndNote, your researcher ID, or searches and alerts that you have saved. You will need to sign in or register your own personal account to save searches and create alerts. Navigate to a new search by clicking on Back to Search. Here you can change the databases that you search in and also link to the journal citation reports, 
where you can find the impact factors and other information about journal titles. Now we will look at citation reports and the H index. You use citation reports to see citations to a set of publications over a period of time, help check research output and citation activity for authors and institutions, and to view trends in a research area. In this demo, we will create a citation report of an author's work. Choose Author from the drop-down list. Enter the author's surname and initials. Search for variations of the name by using the OR operator. If you need help identifying an author, choose Author Search from the drop-down menu. This is a guided search. Fill in author name and initials. Select the research domain. In this case, we are going to select life sciences, physical science and social science and select the organization. In this case, the University of Cape Town. And click on finish search. The results of the search will show a list of the author's work. Click on create citation report to view the citation activity. The graph on the left shows the items published by year and the graph on the right shows citations per year. On the right of the graph you can view information such as citing articles where you can link through to the articles that cited these works. Here you can also view the articles that cited these works eliminating the author's self-citations. The H index is seen here and it's a bibliometric measure that can be useful in measuring a researcher's relative impact on his or her discipline. Below the graphs on this page, you will see a list of the articles by that author. If you wish to remove any of the articles, click on the box next to the articles and then click Go. The citation report results will be recalculated with this new set of information. At the bottom of the page, there is an option to export this data in various formats. The data can also be printed or emailed. The maximum number of articles you can export is 500. Citation reports are derived and originate from articles indexed in the Web of Science. If researchers have published items that are not indexed in Web of Science, these will not be included in the report. Perform a cited reference search for non-Web of Science publications. More Web of Science tutorials can be found by clicking on this link. For more help on this database and other library resources, please contact a librarian at UCT Libraries.